Pathetic Aesthetic is a series of live streams where Rada and Jimbles talk about card artwork. This episode, pajamas and other stuff. You can never return home. And we are live. Or are we? I would argue against it. We have the appearance of living, but inside we know the truth. And tonight, it will be enforced further as we look at the most heinous of vile abominations of God, of the Earth, it's, and the Sun. It's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> We're looking at our dramas and something else, it's a surprise. Possibly you're not think... expecting this, nor do you want to see it, but it's what's gonna happen. We're the ones running this show, unfortunately. That's also something you probably don't want. <laughs> Before we start off, what do you think about Ajamas conceptually? Um, honestly, they're very <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. They're not the most Yu-Gi-Oh thing. But you've got these bizarre, like, the, 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 the whole running theme of these weird, impish creatures who are just ugly and completely reprehensible, but they do fun shit, is like, that that's the Yu-Gi-Oh dream, really, instead of just being like an ugly... There's a reason why I called them thing. Skittles minions. That's because they're minions <laughs> colored like Skittles. I mean, that is, well, everything you've just said is true. <clears throat> None of it's good, though. Uh, yeah, all of it's bad, none of it's good, but it is all true. And that's really all you can ask for. And nowhere is it more apparent than with the appearance of their very first monster. The one and only voiced by fucking Goku himself, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Unjamayolo. <laughs> there he is. And already right here, you can see everything you need to know about the Ojamas. He's posed awkwardly, he's kind of fat, but he's also like thin and weird. He's got massive lips, he's actively drooling as you look at him. He can't manage a grin, his face is so fucked up. <clears throat> and he's giving you like a vaguely angry look with his eyes, which are of course on stalks, because having normal eyes is not something... <laughs> it's, it's just not gonna happen. You can just... Take him by one of those stalks and swing him around like a lasso. <laughs> and Jesus. he probably you could and you should. He, he probably throws spit around everywhere everywhere while you do it. It's a real it's a real show, is what I mean. It's a it's a trade off if you like. You get to take your frustration out on him, but you'll always smell like dish soap for as long as you live. Now the one thing I wanna point out that people don't talk about a lot is that the background on Ojama cards feels as if there's, they're standing on a stage, and there's a spotlight on them. It does. Who are they performing for? I mean, if you remember, the Art of Enchanting fitting room has Ojama Green getting into, like, his bizarrely sexual Speedos. So Speaking there is more here. of the bizarrely sexual Speedos, it's not quite as prominent here. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but the, uh, the bulges get fairly uncomfortable as we go on, so... <laughs> Perticon says uh, he looks like World War II propaganda against the Japanese that went too far. <laughs> Which, that's a little rough. The fucking ugly Wait, I, yellow pajamas. Hold on. According to one Soundwave Superior 28, I enjoy Jimbles calling Ojama Yellow a he, but Ojama Yellow was dressed as a female in the GX dub. When? I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's correct. But... It, it is... <laughs> I feel like being voiced by Goku on a fairly high pitch yeah. indicates that it might not be all male or uh, all I, female either. It's Ojamas. Who knows what their definition of gender is? They probably have, have like <laughs> 12 points. I, I think they have three. zero. Yeah, you know what? That's a way better descriptor. My my headcanon, if you like, is that Ojamas are too busy trying to figure out why they exist to figure <laughs> out what gender they are. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat we have a gender ambiguous, uh, anatomically disfigured, drooling midget in Speedos, and it's, we're off to a great start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, um... 
As we move on, we reach the... Existential dysphoria. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, we reach the existential dysphoria right off the bat. Uh, we, we reach the drama which many people aren't actually aware is the first one that was released as a monster. Because, Doesn't seem like it would be. Yeah, because Ojama Green is the card that was released alongside Ojama Trio as the first Ojama card. People don't know this. You can't blame them because look at it. Jesus Christ! Like, the, there's so much. There's so much here to talk about. We have the drooling. We have the terrifying eye. We have the fact that it's just misshapen. This looks like concept art for Wario, and <laughs> they just colored in and didn't add any details to His head... Um, he swallowed UFO-roid. I guess. <laughs> it's the top half of a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go to McDonald's and order the Otrama burger. <laughs> the look on the cashier's face will be heartbreaking. <laughs> Uh, see, we get a I small guess... hint of a bulge with this one. That's what I was going to talk about, because, like, Ojama Yellow doesn't have a bulge. It's just, like, an implication that he's wearing something in his But here, they're discussion. not hiding anything. They don't need and to. And this was the one who came first. He's they led with the saucy cock bulge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that... I don't know <laughs> who makes... I don't know who designed the Ojamas. It may have been Takahashi, for all I know. <laughs> Um, in which case, I I, I'll ha I would shake his hand, but I would be afraid to, but... <laughs> I'd shake his hand and then wash mine. I, I really want to point out that this Ojama has a Chad bod. He does. That This is the most buff Ojama. He knows what he's about. And you know what? That smug grin on his face is is really telling, because... He can probably beat up all the other dramas if he wanted to, except they all have zero attack and they changed the ruling so that zero attack monsters cannot destroy each other. Oh well. <laughs> Despite all his muscles, he still has zero attack. This is the manlet crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Ojamas, when will they learn? <laughs> they can't. Physically, they're unable. I'm sorry. Their brains are in their tongues. <laughs> their brains are in there somewhere. Let's put it and that And all the drools, that's their brains leaking at all times. Yep. <laughs> that eye is bothering me. It's like a vagina that shouldn't be there. The, the eyes on all the Yojamas, or at least yellow and green, are just alarming because they look at you in such a way that implies you're not supposed to be seeing this. <laughs> <laughs> Which you, how you would describe Yojamas is uh, disturbing. I guess. I would say that I am disturbed knowing that they are and I am as well. Well, no longer do you have to look at this anymore. However, we, it strictly gets worse from here, I would say. <laughs> oh, Jesus. As we move on to... Ojama Black. Oh. I like Ojama Black. I'm gonna say it. Very controversial. He's out here... He's, he's, a, he's got the biggest bulge out of all of them. Let's talk about that just to start with. <laughs> His, uh, his designated leakage area is the nose. <laughs> I'm glad this, that's a detail there, there, but... Uh, I don't know, he, he he seems like he chewed off his, his tongue at some he's point, on, on accident. Yeah. Uh, he looks like a crumpled grape. <laughs> As everyone is pointing out... Um, California Raisins 2! <laughs> <laughs> he is looking right at you in this image. Like, he's posing for a crowd, but he's looking at you like, Are you proud of me? Hey there, big boy. <laughs> hey, after the show, you wanna come backstage? <laughs> I'll show you what I keep in there. It's sand. It's sand and Game Boy Advance copy of Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Game Boy, but if you have one, we can play it. We clean the sand out. <laughs> So if you just... if you don't mind, does it not look like he's slightly levitating if you look at his feet? Oh my god it does. <laughs> he this man is ascending. Is this lore or is this <laughs> Gen 1 art? <laughs> okay, also Gen... notice how his nose rotates into his ear in, into like a Fibonacci spiral. 
<laughs> with Tusk Act 4, we could achieve infinite energy and break through dimensions using Soli Ojama Black. It's called the Golden Ratio. Exactly. This is what human perfection looks like, and I'm sorry you're jealous of it. Ojama Black Ratio, <laughs> if you will. His head is a garbage bag. <clears throat> His head is just a fucking garbage bag. <laughs> His body's a garbage bag. Yeah, but look at, like, all the rumples on his, like, chin area. His his facial pubis. <laughs> yeah, the, the uh, wrinkles on his face really stand out from the rest of his body, which is, like, surprisingly clean. <laughs> uh, the Ojama version of Ascending is floating one inch above the ground. Hey, <laughs> <I> jump! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Arigato, Daimon. <laughs> so... We're not rating these. These cannot be rated, obviously. Um, they can only be described. He he does look like the ugly bastard tag. So yeah, that yeah, earlier. absolutely. He he is plowing anime girls. You call Green a Chad, but this is the guy they call when they need someone for a scene. <laughs> so, um, next up we have a very curious specimen. Oh boy. Drama Blue. You know, I thought this one was a girl. I think I've told you this story. <laughs> I think we already concluded the gender discussion. Ah, oh, we did. But it's just something I thought. But then you look at him, he has the most normal body, but then his head is like the weapon that uh, Velstat the Royal Aegis uses. <laughs> <laughs> he can probably, like, chuck himself at you for decent damage. Uh, I would assume so. So... This is I don't I know this doesn't mean much by your drama standards, but he is the most normal looking one. However, well, he has a normal human body, and his head is not as horrifying as the others. He's not drooling. Yeah, he. This is he knows something we don't. This is an <laughs> Ojama who has his priorities sorted out. He. <laughs> but he his priorities sassy. are on like a different level of comprehension. He speaks in a constant, like, operatic falsetto. You can't understand a word he says. It's all just, like, shock. Whoa! That's all he says. <laughs> <laughs> and all the Ojamas can understand him, but... Now, one thing <laughs> I need to mention is that I think this specific eye shape and, in relation to the mouth, references some kind of yokai. I don't know <laughs> what exactly. I've read about this. I've seen it. I don't know what it is, but it is a thing that was a thing at some point. Most Japanese, well, not most, but a good portion of Japanese yokai are Ojama esque. Like, there's a guy who is buttholes like a big eye. You got those? Imagine, imagine creating myths and wonderful like cultural legacy only to be compared to Ojamas by some <laughs> New Yorker in 2019. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I do apologize. That was that was unfair of me. <laughs> <laughs> We're all growing and learning, and I, I too must improve. Some Japanese dude never... is coming out of the ground to haunt you right this moment. <laughs> he is right, he is clawing himself from the ageless earth, and he's gonna fucking be like, what is, is an Ojama? This is not what I died it... for. <laughs> what is an Ojama, and why does it make me <laughs> angry to be compared to one? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ojama Blue, uh... Let's just start using singular words to describe these. This is, um... Eccentric. Um... Is near miss one word? Sure. This could have been, like... I, I want to say, like, this could have been a lot worse than it yeah, was. Yeah, I guess, it, I the guess they didn't miss, huh? I'm Bye, sorry. everyone. <laughs> Stream over. <laughs> that... I just buried... Shot and buried that meme anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh god! <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, my heart rate just kind of, you know, you, you, you <clears throat> look into those eyes. Mystic Tomato really showed a glow up here. <laughs> However, he has I learned... I be at least six feet taller! He has learned about the world and now he's very angry. <laughs> Epitaph, how did you detach from King Crimson? <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> it is my manga now. I can see ten seconds in the future, and it always sucks. <laughs> it's just as bad as right now. <laughs> it's even worse, in fact. He can he can see ten seconds in the future, but he can't do anything about it, and it makes him really angry. 
Um, he he is. Can we point out he is the only Ojama wearing an additional article yeah. of clothing? Oh man, he's got a bandana. He, he, this guy is either aspiring to something or he was a bit cold. He's the protagonist. I oh. think is the obvious thing here. If this is the protagonist, then I, I think Princess Zelda is Zelda is better off with Ganon. <laughs> um, I'm coming to save you, princess. <laughs> No. And you can't get my sword. No, no, no. 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 I come and get you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put that Ganon guy's feet in my mouth. <laughs> That'll show him. And then yours. And then yours. I think his <laughs> bulge is the most pronounced out of all the basic dramas. And it makes uh, me uncomfortable. Yeah. It's he, probably following the, uh, the uh, bulging of his eyes, if you will. Like when he yeah, gets angry, when, when when he gets angry, his hell his, his head swells up, his eyes swells up, his balls swell up. It's <laughs> it's a real thing. Just like what happens to me. I'm just angry. <laughs> Don't touch it; it'll explode. <laughs> and not the way you'd like it. It just pops like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of blood or anything, it's confetti. Yeah, it's confetti and like uh. That slime you can make. <laughs> that's that's like in, that's what's inside the dramas. He doesn't look like ang. He he looks angry, but he doesn't look like. His eyes are the eyes of someone who have seen some shit. But it he looks probably like he's himself gonna, in the mirror. I guess it just looks like he's ready to hurt you for whatever he's seen. Like he's come to terms with the horrors of life, and now he's just good and ready to take it out on you. This is his moment. So. The rating on this one is um, righteous. <laughs> the rating on this one is one long scream. I think that's gonna be a recurring theme. Unfortunately. Next yeah. one is possibly the most interesting in this lineup. Oh, oh boy. At least until we get to the spells and traps, but because of one little detail, or should I say two, a drama oh. night stands out. Uh, you know, I only just realized that like. The grill of his uh, thing is his lips. Yeah, he doesn't actually need that there. Although, would you believe he probably is Forgot. really hungry at all times? What would you say? Would you believe he still has zero poise? <laughs> I mean, he does have zero attack. <laughs> he's got the pierce shield. He's 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 getting something done here. So before we get into night, can we address the? The, the Ojama Sages. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. You don't know anything either. Sorry. Apparently that's his parents, according to GX. Um, really? Yes. Oh my god, which one's the girl one? Yes. <laughs> Where's the elder Ojama Black? He only had two parents and they were... What are those facial expressions? They're not proud of him. They're they're looking at him in like abject horror. <laughs> this is what he's become. <laughs> I thought we raised him better, but then I remembered we are dramas. We cannot do it any better. <laughs> it's so good to see my O. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not. Uh, if that's what you want to do with your life, then I'm sorry. I don't know what I did wrong. He's got speedos on the outside. <laughs> He's got, he has the biggest bulge we've seen thus far. Like, this is the only one I think that's had gravity. It's it's hanging down. There's something in there. Yeah, but look at his tiny little legs and feet. He's got he's almost got heels. What are those boots? I think that's just the way his feet are. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> yeah, he's standing on his tippy toes. Your cosplay looks great, sweetie. Wonderful. Uh, Odrama Guts is great. Uh, that is a big fucking sword he's packing. It's it's far too Odrama to be called a sword. It was more like a sl banana I mean, peel. It's clearly made from packed together sand. It's not golden or anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Imagine him running and his bulge swinging back and forth between the metal plates on his thighs. That's That's the threatening factor. That's, he doesn't need to fight anybody like that. And the entire time he's doing it, this this is playing in the background. Yeah, but that's every Ojama. Yeah, fair, but, but like in like different pitches. So, 
<laughs> uh, comment on this one. Uh, mm, chivalrous, but Ooh. not too much. <laughs> I just, I, I just. Oh wait, what the fuck? What? There's holes in the sides of his helmet, and I thought his arms were coming out of them, but I think those are like ear holes for ears he doesn't have. <laughs> it's cheek <What> holes. <laughs> he's got cheek okay, holes. Okay, okay, yeah, hold up. So he's got a hole for his mouth, which he doesn't need, unless he's just perpetually hungry, which I can believe, but the cheek holes are also... Uh, hmm. Interesting. Ojamas are a mystery. I guess they either just work on a way higher or a way lower level of comprehension than we can understand. As will be evidenced by the uh, quote-unquote boss monster for the time being. Eggs All with right, legs. Oh, mama. This is the peak male body. If you don't like it, <laughs> sorry, but there's nothing you can do about it. You'll notice that, like, the Ojama head is the Oj is the dominant feature of most of the Ojamas, and this guy is just all head. There is no the, distinction between... The their Ojama evolution is a linear process, and it goes from body to head. <laughs> By the time they're done, they're gonna look like Yukuris. I like that he just took a grandma's dress. I do know what a Yukuri is. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad I have seen it. Yukuris. I have seen smut of Yukuris, and oh, no. that's why I'll never forget them. Have you seen smut of Ujamas? No. Well, technically yes, but I don't want to talk about it. Oh no, not that one. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not having that discussion. So there is, uh, there is a distinct there is a distinction of a king here, and that is not the crown, but the two speedos. Does Wait. this guy fuck? I, you caught me off guard. You kind of knocked the wind out of my sails with that. <laughs> I think the silence there was appropriate. What would he fuck? It's a good question. Uh, question two. Where do the things in his mouth go? What things in his mouth? If he puts oh. something in his mouth, where does it go? <laughs> it stays there. <laughs> He's just constantly got like shit rolling around in his mouth. There's like a TV in there. <laughs> That's where the Ojamas live. Uh, does the 3D model of Duel Links explain how escape works? Oh my god, that is a great question. Oh, it's a question I don't want an answer what to. What is that attached to? I, can, I mean, I can imagine it's like around his arms, but let me, let me check. Uh, I don't think at any point is it shown how that cape is attached to his body. Mm. Oh, I see. No, it's just sort of like tucked over his arms, according to some of the anime. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's just kind of there somehow. The wiki is refusing to cooperate for the time being, uh, but I want to show a really important image to this discussion. Uh, so, say things about the drama king until I retrieve this image. All right, um... What is there even to say about Ojama King? I think it's important to notice that he has this fucking paisley pattern on his cape. It looks like a tablecloth that he stole, which is appropriate. Um, he has this tiny little golden crown, which I'm assuming is made of sand. And he has cheekbones. So he has bones, or he has at least cartilage. And that makes me wonder, what does an Ojama skeleton look like? He farts perpetually to keep his cape billowing. <laughs> that I believe. There somehow describes every Ojama. Yes, correct. It's a shower curtain, not a cave. <laughs> there we go. There it is. His eyes are connected to his lungs. I also believe that. <laughs> now, I don't want you to be jump scared before, by what I'm about to show you. Oh, boy. Oh, merciful God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is, the oh, this is the sleep paralysis demon telling me I'm <laughs> short at 5 a.m. Oh god, oh. <laughs> this just doesn't make me feel good. This makes me feel very bad. See, the card art was vaguely funny. This is terrifying. It is! This is legitimately menacing. <laughs> yeah, because he's T-posing. He's asserting his dominance. Imagine opening your door and this is just like across the street <laughs> facing you. 
This is the last thing you see before you die. The... And then you blink your eyes and your neck is just snapped. <laughs> Imagine him running at you with like, just doing this exact body body position, but his legs are only slightly tapping in okay, order to run. A, even more terrifying, his legs aren't moving at all. He's just like drifting along the ground towards <laughs> you. Like, like a broken that. model. <laughs> It's, again, that is genuinely frightening. You're gonna have to look at this until I find the next one, so... Um, oh, please, no. So the word to describe this one would be... Die. The word to describe this one would be nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Oh man, is there really no... Wait, um... Uh oh. We're running into some technical difficulties. Yeah, there's this, dramas in my house. To this needs to replace Mr. X. <laughs> Mr. O. Jama. Mr. O. <laughs> Mr. O, no. Miss... <laughs> Mr. Oops. Mr. Yikes. Alright, I took a screenshot of an OCG scam. It's got abs like a staircase. Jamas can walk on them. <laughs> so, next up. This needs like the Sephiroth music. <laughs> dum dum da da dum. Oh drama, oh drama. Okay, so now we have the uh, true usurper of the Ojama throne. Uh oh. Ojama uh -oh. Emperor. Ojama Impera. God damn! That's a thick boy! God damn! <laughs> God damn! That's fuck. a dick boy! God damn! <laughs> he ate Ojama King. He must have, cause... His crown has a speedo. Oh my He's god. He's wearing an Elvis coat. <laughs> He's got He's a wearing... skin mustache. <laughs> he has a skin, like a meat crest. And his eyes are just hiding in, like, the cave formed by the rest of his face. <laughs> what does this guy sound like, Jimbles? I was thinking something more like Mr. Plinkin, but you do you. I'm the Emperor. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> the throne is part of him. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean... Probably because he's stuck. I can't, <laughs> can't get out. I can't get out. I'll try my impreg. I need help. <laughs> if you can lift me from the throne, you will become the new Ojama <laughs> Emperor. But it's not good. <laughs> it's not a good idea. So if you want to leave me here, I respect that. Um. Yeah, this guy has a lot of going- I mean, compared to other Ojamas, he's got a lot more going on. He looks sleepy. <laughs> he looks really tired. He does! That's why I gave him, like, the he's almost gonna throw up thing in yeah. his voice. <laughs> he looks like he's constantly So this is what sick. my life has amounted to. So this is, this is the top, huh? <laughs> oh, god, I hate it. Started at the bottom, not much has changed. <laughs> Started from the bottom. Inch up from the bottom, it's not too much better. <laughs> uh, I like this guy a lot. Um, he's, I, he's I am not a, a lot, fan yeah. of the fact that his stomach looks about ready to burst open, but... His bulge is actually the biggest. He hides it with his legs because he's beyond human comprehension. Yeah, we can't see the, bul the bulge. <laughs> may all the bulge may actually be the big purple orb that we thought the stomach was. The the bulge is actually Ojama King. It's like attached to his crotch. <laughs> hey, I'm still here. <laughs> Before we make this look even more disgusting by looking into it too deep, let's move on. Let's please let's. Uh no wait, I need no. a word for this one. And also we haven't ga ga given one to Ojama King yet. Come on. All right. Uh, I give both of them the same word, and that is uh, the boss. All right, that's fair. <laughs> <clears throat> I give this one my words.
Blumpkin. I mean, that is an adjective that you could use to describe this man. How are you doing? You I'm kind of Blumpkin. Look at that Blumpkin over there. We're not Actually, doing the words anymore. Right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we have our first spell cards. We oh, haven't boy. done we haven't done spell and trap cards on this show before, but this is an exception. But boo, but ass, boo, but ass. Oh, jump on Jake. <laughs> this is how our dramas are stuck. <laughs> this is how dramas are born. <laughs> we come out of the baskets <laughs> into a fresh life. Oh, I don't like it. Who's that man under there? We still don't know. <laughs> you would have thought that the trivia page guys would would figure this out by now. Till to this day, when was this card released? Let me check. <laughs> I need to know when this card came out. Okay. Uh, this card came out in 2005. 14 years. We still don't know who that man under there. <laughs> I, I thought vaguely it could have been Kamion Wizard, but it doesn't match up. It could be a Kakiesu. A, a Kakiesu? Yeah, it's an obscure uh, spellcaster type monster. Let us... A Kakiesu. Kakikesu. Um, he's got the eyes going on, but the rest of his body is not really. Yeah, no, no, that's absolutely not the Kakikikiki. Um, I guess you're right. I thought it looked. This more art, this more. art is like okay. There's a weird ass fucking mysterious monster. Who knows what he's doing down there? Why he's down there? Also, I guess some dramas. <laughs> Yeah, like your eye is drawn to like this strange Kirby villain that's just sort of squatting beneath the birth of these Ojamas. Is this man behind the Ojamas? Were they because, his creations? Because if so, curse you, strange man. <laughs> he keeps killing the Ojamas, but they always respawn. <laughs> this man controls the Ojamas. Compared to him, you are everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Oja Mastermind. Uh, this is Archetype oh, Jones' it. true form. <laughs> he, he's just like sitting there waiting. I, I do like the idea of this being where Ojamas are born and he's just in charge of chucking them out so that they don't stay around for too long. <laughs> he's the Ojama chucker. Yeah. What a great work. What a great job. This is the greatest moment of their lives, and then he comes up from under the table so as not to scare them, and just tosses them into Ojama country, off a balcony. <laughs> uh, Alright, bye. That's, it's neat. I like this one. But I also don't, because it makes me confused. There's so much to unpack here. Now, <laughs> this, arc, uh, this uh, pathetic aesthetic, in fact... If you haven't expected it, this pathetic aesthetic can include Oja Muscle. <laughs> that was going to be the title, but uh, oh Bam. man, there it is. And Ojama Black is just leaking like fucking mad. What's going on with his lower lip? <laughs> He's not biting it's... it. It is making that shape. Yeah, it's loose and just floppy, and it's catching the wind as he goes down. That's a great pose he struck, though. That's a golden landing. Also green. They're just... They have the time for posing. Not quite yellow, though. He's really getting his ass Yellow's gonna it. snap his fucking neck, but it doesn't matter, because there's no bones there. <laughs> <laughs> and also doesn't matter, because nobody will be sad. <laughs> nobody will miss him, A, and he won't die, B. <laughs> Oh, wait, did we see power filter, painful escape, painful decision, and such? Damn, there's a lot of cards that dramas are featured in, and I, I don't, don't know... I think we need to bother with those. I, we could, uh, theoretically, but there are so many cards that are featured in that we cannot be asked to dig through. And most of them are just Ojamas doing things, and we're gonna have plenty of Ojamas yeah, doing things. Yeah, it's like, Ojama oh, funny follow. face. But anyway... The painful cards are just bad things happening to Ojamas, which, while cathartic, doesn't give us a lot to talk about. Going back to Oja Muscle. Yeah. Another there we have another mysterious aspect to this card's artwork, which is Who that arm over who, there? Who who that arm? Who the fuck 
punched the three of Jamas. Is this the guy from under Oja Magic, and this is him tossing them into Ojama country? How does muscular black man play into the Ojama lore? <laughs> because okay, if so... this is supposed to be Ojama King, then that's a hell of a tan. But... Clearly what we're seeing is Velka, goddess of sin. Uh, here. Okay, Vati. Awesome. Uh, I, I, maybe Karate Man? I guess. What did they ever do to Karate? Wait, actually, why, why am I asking what did Ojama ever, Ojama's ever do to uh, Both of you to assume you need a reason to hurt Ojama. There is a... There is a level of... Wait, no, there's a... What is the impact here? It's like an uh, arm appeared and then suddenly they're flying. It's like they weren't actually hit by anything. Maybe it's symbolic. Oh, the oppression. Yeah, it's symbolic of, like, the power that they have gained has made them fall crotch <clears throat> first into oblivion. Like, the... like you do. He flexed and they just flew off. Are they standing on his arm? That's what I always assume. <clears throat> Hey, they were look running at along us. his arm, hey. and he check hey, us hey. out. Look what we're doing. He just flexed doing. once. This Terry Crews looking dude. Oh, and it's they Terry just flew. Crews. Okay. Oh, is that is that the <laughs> next up? <laughs> is that where we're going? With? Uh, did you know that when the three Ojamas are gathered together, something happens? I've heard this before, but I always assumed that what happened was disappointment. Well, besides farting noises. What happens is a drama delta hurricane, and uh, okay, a green is just shooting that out of his dick. <laughs> it's, it is, in fact, launching out of green's dick. <laughs> Not much else going on here. Um, Ojamas, Ojamas are we're, we're supposed to believe that Ojamas are just capable of doing this, and you know what? Fine, whatever. You went through the effort of making green, yellow, and black into the field. You deserve this one, but. Uh, green, green is displaying the big dick energy right on point. And you know, you know what? As the Ojama that displayed his cock and balls first and foremost, as the first one that was displayed in the first place, he deserves it. Uh, this is what happens when an Ojama pulls his speedo down. <laughs> it's just raw energy that just launches and out at the nearest. Star. Nobody actually knows what's under there because this is all they see, and it's the last thing they see. <laughs> it's Ojama CBT. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna head out. I, I'm, I'm about to head out. Now, speaking of which... Uh -oh. <laughs> we have an extremely curious specimen of a card, and I think we'll oh. be stuck on this one one for a while. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're gonna have to dissect it segment by segment. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. I'm just gonna have to give me a second to find. Chat is just full of dread now. <laughs> they know what's coming. Um. Oh wow, this is a oh. higher quality scan. Uh oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a second. This is Ojama qualities that we've never seen before. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, strap in. Don't do it, you'll get banned. <laughs> okay. Where do you think a disgusting species like Orjamas would make their residence? In a field? In a... I mean... In a place? In a meadow? Maybe perhaps a town, village, a city? Or may perhaps... A country. Oh, Ojama Khan country. To Ojama country. <laughs> there it is, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. West Virginia. Ojama country. It's really bad. Don't go there. Where do we go first? <laughs> oh. How about well, we start we... with the top left? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's fine by me. And we'll move I on like to the bottom right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there when we get there. 
So, uh, top left oh, we here. Hit. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Jesus, we're going in hard! We're going in hot! <laughs> okay, I, I never actually it. saw Indigo's, like, pupils. <laughs> Hello! He looks like he's about to do something very nefarious. Is that a tail Impossible. or a hand? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's like a spider, Ojama. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, like, crawl around. Um... Kali, Rada, do you want a Twitch Prime sub? No, thanks. I don't deserve it. Especially not for this. Um, <laughs> for this? You're gonna sub? Uh, he looks like he sub. can't fit into the house. Yeah, he's he's waiting oh, he... for the Ojama repairman to come in and widen his door. Thanks, Kali. Because I didn't he... have to do that. Why did you do that? So, <laughs> it looks like he has to either go through the... Like, squeeze through the chimney or go sideways. To get into the house. I mean, maybe... You have to remember that Ojamas are like soft garbage bag people, so he could just squeeze in, probably. He's like a rat, you know, he gets his head through, he can get everything through. He has to lubricate himself accordingly first. <laughs> He's just gonna spend the day moistening in the sun and then <laughs> slide into his home. <laughs> it makes this noise. Yeah, that's the sound <laughs> of an Ojama going home to sleep. That's the sound of an Ojama in general. Um... <laughs> Outstanding, lad. I like to believe if that's a hand, that then he saw somebody taking a picture of Ojama Country and he really wanted to be in there. Hello! Hello! So, Hello. next up we have Ojama Lemon. Um, I'm not so sure about this one, because... Okay, uh, one thing I haven't noticed until now is he looks ostensibly sleep-deprived. He, he does have that kind of look about him. Oh, hi. Does he have a beak? Is that a yeah, beak? Yeah, that's Ojama bird. He is an Ojama bird. But still yeah. has the body of an Ojama, which is a curse. It looks like he was cursed to be this way. Like, he has the eye of a normal man who was forced into the, the body of an Ojama and a bird at the same time. His every waking moment is existential pain. <laughs> we're not, still, we're not straying too far from just Ojamas in general. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's a curse to be an Ojama. Not Absolutely. you don't have to do anything extra, really. Uh, it's a curse to be an Ojama, not any specific Ojama. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, somebody <laughs> pointed out. So, yeah. Wait, so no, hold no, up. No. So wait, wait. I I I knew this. I was gonna get there. And I'm glad somebody in the chat pointed it out too, because it is Look worth. It is worth mentioning that Ojamas have windmills. With lips, or anuses, or whatever the purpose of that moist hole in the middle of the windmill is. They're constantly just making fart noises as it spins. This is, what, there this any... is what the yes. Ojama windmill sounds like. All, all across the field, just that sound. And it's not there for any productive reason. It's just how Ojamas want to live. It's constantly <laughs> surrounded by that fucking noise. <laughs> they think it distracts harpies away, but in fact it only reveals their location to them. It does make it very hard to be around there, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> God, we, we spent two minutes just talking about their fucking windmills. Anyway. Jesus. Um, there's Red just... <laughs> Angry at Red's the world. Just... <laughs> Each day, this is this is like it's. He's not even mad at this point. It's routine to just climb up onto his roof and curse God for making him <laughs> exist. <laughs> this is what he wakes up for in the morning, screaming at yeah. God, and he does this until seven p.m. <laughs> he until he passes out from exha exhaustion, <laughs> lands behind his house, falls asleep in the dirt, and then climbs up again. <laughs> He hasn't been inside his house for three years. It's being uh, infested by Ojama rats. <laughs> Got we'll, we'll get to those. Those exist. Oh, boy. Oh, who is this fella? That's... <laughs> Ojama Grey? <laughs> he looks tired, Ojama Grey. He looks like he's doing some kind of performance. To be or not to be an Ojama. Uh, the answer is to not. Not to be case, yeah. or not to be, the answer is uh, the second one. <laughs> I've that, decided. That concludes our performance today. That's that's he does. <laughs> he's he's the Ojama artist. Yeah, he 
like Red, he just performs until he passes out from exhaustion, and then stands up and starts performing again. He doesn't have a house. Yeah. Well, either that, or it's that little hut behind him over there. It could be any of these huts with eye stalks on them. Which... I, I like... Oh god, what what's the point of the stalks on the houses? Are, are the houses alive? I feel alive? like there's a narrative here, because remember, the only knight we saw was Ojama Yellow. Which leads me to believe that Ojama Yellows, those with the eye stalks, are a protected class who um, have religious authority over all other Ojamas. You see what I'm saying? Either that or he's just really cool. So that, they that model their houses it. according. Uh, blue, could also be it. Blue uh, perpetuates... Blue looking sassy. Yeah, Blue <laughs> perpetuates the idea we had while talking about him, which is he knows something we don't. Yeah, he's like, oh... Oh, you're in Ojama country, are you? Huh. Interesting. That's real interesting. It's real interesting that you're here, in Ojama country, listening to our fart windmills and watching our scream performances. Huh. It's real interesting. Say, what's your social security number? Say, by the way, what is your credit card number? <laughs> like, this is an Ojama. An Ojama, again, that's looking at you like you're a piece of shit in the street. Damn, I... I... That, I never know I could be so insulted by a field spell. Then again, I played against Chicken Game once. You 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 lagged out pretty hard there, but I imagine that's just what the drama sounds like. Yeah, that's it's fairly accurate. Uh, okay, that's um, blue flexing. Next up, we've got this going on. What have we got? Oh. Ojama Yellow being kicked down a flight of stairs. As is usual. I mean, there's nothing wrong here. This is the best part about this car. <laughs> Thing, things seem to be on the up and up in the Ojama country. Yeah, there's nothing about this that I dislike. This is good. For, this is whether fun. he was kicked or tripped. Whether so he something was bad kicked or tripped or he did this voluntarily. <laughs> something bad is happening to Ojama Yellow, and that's okay with me. Because he probably deserves it. <laughs> I mean, not probably. He's a drama yellow. Um, I, I just... <laughs> Do we have to talk about the animals? Because I don't like them. <laughs> Dude, stop zooming into <laughs> him! Stop! I don't want to look at it! I hate it! A drama <laughs> snake. That's it doesn't make a hiss it. noise, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> It, it eats grass. It, it, it slurps grass. It sucks grass. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> God, Suchijama. Suchijama real. That's oh, all we gotta God. say about this one. Um, <laughs> this is just a great image going on here. <laughs> hey, little guy. What are you looking at? See something up there? <laughs> What's that? I don't understand you. <sighs> I can't understand anyone, but least of all you. <sighs> Your lips are looking awful pink today. <sighs> Have you been eating garbage? You know, it's gonna make you strong and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what their daily life is like. He just sits and talks to an animal that has no interest in him. And just keeps looking up, it's like... Do you have any advice on how to file my taxes? Because uh, it's getting real close to the deadline, and I just realized I can't do math. Or read. Aww. Oh, I see. So you're saying that I should claim myself to be a dependent of the state. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. <laughs> Trauma Black's doing chores. Or... Ojama Black is out there to cut down some trees and then forget why he cut the tree down and leave it there. <laughs> Either that or he's just dancing with a hoe. <laughs> Look what I found. He's got them hoes, if you will. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't laugh, but it was funny, I promise. <laughs> um, now... He's, oh, he's got a power step going on listen, here. Uh, I'm not looking forward to what's coming. Let's check out what's what's in the rest of Fujama country. There's got they got logs, dual logs, 
Over there. <laughs> you got the dual logs over yeah. there. <laughs> this is their the... pile of dual logs. Yeah, they use these logs. To... Oh god, I can see a little thing though. Um, they got the I logs. Can see a little bit. Of it. <laughs> this is a big, nice house. Comf ah, there's red door. Hey guys. Hey, hey you're hey. going the wrong way. <laughs> you're going the wrong way. Hey. If you, could, you just go down a little bit more, hey, I'm over, I'm over here, hey. <laughs> oh, there we go, hey. All right, all right. Now, now it's time for the best part of the show. It's me. Uh, I'm the only one who has a nose. You should know that. That's important to know. Uh, I've got a thing. I got a thing on my head. I'm supposed to review this, right? Okay, um, so you can see here that this this one uh, is 5 out of 10. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't keep quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, in the bottom right of Ujama Country, we have this strange fellow hey wait where are you going come back no this was my moment <laughs> ojama lime makes a living by sniffing things for other ojamas <laughs> <laughs> right, smells bad next still smells bad <laughs> Yep, all right, this one smells even worse. Good job. That'll be uh, five sands. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed when he put the funny man on the screen. The funny man is on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what can be said about a drama line? This is the most surreal moment of my fucking life. <laughs> hey guys, I'm making a video where uh, top ten Ojama moments. It's, I don't have any Ojama moments yet that are like good, but I'm getting there. So are we doing Ojama Lime's comments on the rest of Ojama Country? I mean, we could. I'm here. I'm here for as long as you need me. I don't have anywhere else to be. Comment been... on this scene, in this situation. Alright, so this is actually pretty unusual, because you see Ojama Black is climbed out of the hole that he lives in, and he's found one of the items that was thrown there. He's taking... Oh, chat's getting... Chat's getting kind of wild, huh? Oh, jeez. Um, so this is, uh, in Ojama language, what you would call a bra moment. Uh, you have Ojama Black doing something, and Ojama Green interacting with an animal in a way that doesn't involve violence. This is actually pretty weird. Uh, the Ojama, the, the squirrel dog there, is, is actually a word for it, but it's just... A, that's what we call that. Um, what do they call it? Usually... And that, uh, can, just, can, can, you, can, you, can you repeat that? All right, uh, okay, if you say so. Uh, uh, okay. It, it, it has not moved from that spot for as long as I've known it, which is a pretty long time. Uh, uh, it might be dead. It's entirely possible that it's dead. That, oh, I don't, oh. Um, can we, can we skip this one? I really don't like this one. It's, okay, thank you. All right. Oh, God. Okay, so Ojama Blue... Uh, he knows a lot about something that he'll never say, and he'll say a lot about things he doesn't know anything about, and that's just kind of what Ojama Blue does with his day. He says, uh, he says things that, uh, I can't repeat for legal reasons also. You know, he's given me a lot of legal advice in my time, which is why I've been banished from Ojama Country. Uh, Ojama Gray kicked me down the stairs once. Uh, I don't think it was anything personal. He just does that to everybody who comes within a few feet of him. I like Ojama Gray because he's consistent. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that idiot. Look at him. He's getting kicked down the stairs. <laughs> Look at that stupid moron. I hate that guy. Oh, oh there's Ojama Red doing his screaming. Uh, nobody really pays him any attention. It's just kind of what he does. Uh, he's, he's good at it, though. If you, if you wanted to talk about like the top screamers in Ojama Country, the ones who scream. Oh, <clears throat> God Christ. Uh, he, he would be the one. He would be the guy that you would get, like, a, a, the king of Ojamas. He said, I need someone to scream. You would all look at Red, and he'd be screaming. 
Like, even in his sleep, he screams. He doesn't stop. And let me tell you, it makes it hard to sleep at night. But that's okay, because all I do is stand in that one spot. Okay, so the, 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 the fart fans. Um, you guys have these, right? Why do you need me to explain this to you? This is perfectly normal. You set them out in the field, and they make a noise when the wind hits them. Oh. Uh, yeah, that guy. Um... You know how if you see vultures circling, there's probably something dead there? Or, there are no birds in Ojama country, so we just have this guy circling us all the time, looking at us with that eye. And... You know, I... You know. He does a good job. Uh, we sort of feel bad for him, which should tell you something. <clears throat> I don't know where he got those wings. I don't think they're his. I don't think... No. <laughs> they're not mine, that's for sure. If I could fly, I would, uh, I wouldn't. Oh. Uh, we keep him up there. You notice that he's very high on the hill there, and there's a fence around him. That fence goes all the way around. That's to keep him in, and to keep everyone else out. Like, you don't want to be anywhere near that guy. Uh, if you want to talk about someone who is, uh, uh what would the word be? If you want to talk about somebody who's just aggressive in a way that, is not pleasant and is very awkward. That's Ojama. That's this guy. I, I think we call him Indigo. I just call him the fence man because he's behind the fence all the time and that's where he's supposed to be. Um, I don't like I don't like him one bit. Let me tell you that right now. So as you can tell, Ojama country is a lot going on and none of it's very good. There's me. There I am. Uh, I'm. I'm not allowed in Ojama country anymore, for reasons which, uh, I can't talk about. Oh, it's over. Why are you putting me in the dumpster? This is not- I can't see the stream from here. <laughs> Alright, <sighs> now that's over. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the fence position. Next up, we have... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm processing the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Was that 10? Wow! Where did 10 minutes go? To a drama country. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy mercy. Fucking Jeezel. Jeezel? Yeah, Jeezel. That's what my, uh, my grandmother says instead of Jesus. She says uh, Jeezel Peasel. Is, is she British? No, she's, uh... What would you say? She's just a green one. She's, she's an Ojama. <laughs> no, she's not really, she's an Ojama. Uh, next up we have Silent Hill. We have Silent... Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. This... This is, like, the one legitimately disturbing Ojama card. And what, what, like, imagine this scene. Imagine your Ojama yellow for a moment. Terrifying, right? Okay, good. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is like, he woke up during an operation, but they don't care. <laughs> it's like, oh, is he, uh, is he awake? Uh, okay. Why is Green wearing a chef's hat? Because he's about to get cooking. <laughs> It's about to get hot in here. I'm gonna turn up the heat. I'm gonna take whatever in. I'm gonna throw it on the grill. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a nice one. I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Put some uh, vegetables. Just sauce. No ketchup. Just sauce. No ketchup. No steez. <laughs> no scrimps. Where... I already know what it is. Where did they get this, like, laboratory? Uh, Kozaki? Fair. Uh, Black looks stoned off his ass. <laughs> he, he's outside the I office. don't even know where I am right now, dude. Oh, it's not a fucking offer, right? <laughs> okay. Here's your tools. Here's your tools, man. It's just silverware. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm, I'm so ready. I do, I add a detail I absolutely love is the useless masks. We just cover their front <laughs> teeth. <laughs> really 
There's a lot going on here. That's the definition of Ojama, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> Let's uh, unpack this. They got Yellow's little toesies. <laughs> His little toesies. Oh no, my little toesies. Oh no, my little toesies. Oh <laughs> Whatever gosh. shall I do? Whatever shall I do? My feet are bare and covered in dirt and grime and filth all the time. <laughs> Somebody's racking off of this right now. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, um, Rocky 7. This time it's Ojamas. Oh god. So, uh, I tried to read Baki. I didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this probably has a better art style. Anyway, <laughs> I do like the one thing I like about this one is that it plays into the effect because the effect involves smacking your dramas against things. From what I remember, uh, yep. Yeah, it okay, you can... It doesn't involve bludgeoning. Yeah, no, no, uh, no, it doesn't directly involve smacking or dramas and things, but it's a quick play, and when you make it float off of, uh, blue, you can activate it instantly, and, uh, like, when you normal summon or drama, you make, like, you make it, you run, you ran, you run or dramas into things with this, and the art encapsulates it perfectly, because yellow's not having the greatest time. Um, yeah, but then <laughs> Green is like checking his watch, like, all right, <clears throat> we ready to get into this? <laughs> no, no, let me go. Sir, the opponent has drills on his hands. How is this legal? <laughs> How is this relevant? <laughs> How is that relevant? <laughs> it's called a boxing match, not a drilling match. It's fine. It's irrelevant to the, <laughs> the contest. <laughs> Um, and then the Java Black's done like, you just gotta get in there, you gotta stick a move. <laughs> just hit him with your eyeballs. Hit him with your eyeballs. <laughs> I've been trying! He keeps hitting them! <laughs> also, Java Black seems to have lost an eye. I th he's dressed as a... <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, coach. for these Sion's messages are really good. The match, the match hasn't, hasn't even started, started yet. <laughs> <laughs> he got like this, trying to get into the arena. Yeah, he jumped in off the top rope and just crashed. <laughs> yeah, he's dressed as Coach Goblin. That's great. Uh, I don't know why one? Coach Goblin has an eye patch, but there you go. And Arm Dragon level 5 is having the time of his life. He, he looks like he's having the best day he's ever had. Uh, I think Solid as Ojama Black. <laughs> <clears throat> Now we're moving on to the traps. The trap cards. The sneaky demons. Trap card Hatsudo. Ojama Trio. Oh no. Hatsudo. Ojama Trio. Oh, this is the wrong one. You misplay. Misplay. That reminds me of Four of the Worthless and the funniest part of Four of the Worthless. Ojama Trio into like a triple synchro summon. Nice job. But that's Ojamas for you. Hey, here's some cards to clog up your feet. Oh, you linked with them. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ojama Trio, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's everything you know about it's Ojamas, bad. but drawn worse. It's... <laughs> it's so... Everything about old Yu-Gi-Oh art is so fucking pastel. But not aesthetic pastel. More like, I don't want to look at this pastel. My eyes hurt. Well, yeah, it's pastel in the way that, like, things of the time actually were, and not the way that fucking Vaporwave artists make it be. This is what Steven Universe characters look like. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was the first Ojama cards. That's why it looks like this. And uh, fucking Green's doing jazz hands. Imagine... <laughs> imagine looking at this when you have had no previous exposure to Ojamas. Imagine looking at this when you wake up and you have sleep paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> we already did that for the drama king. I um, know, but <laughs> so imagine this being your first Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> I don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Oh, this is this is a game about giving me nightmares. Interesting. Uh, Kazuki Takahashi <laughs> and Junji Ito did a great collab here. 
<laughs> this looks like like something Junji Ito like doodled on a bar napkin and forgot about. <laughs> oh yeah, these things. Uh, it's kill nothing the we haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's the drama's <laughs> uh, place clap. Awaken, my masters. Uh, please go back to sleep, my masters. <laughs> please go back to bed, my masters. <laughs> my masters, you, you shouldn't have woken up. This ain't it, my masters. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it, it doesn't want to load the next one. It's refusing to do this. Please one. stop. Please. Don't escape so easily. Okay. Yeah. Say something as lime to entertain all the ten-year-olds in the audience. All right, everyone. So, what I want to talk about with you today is uh, uh, what's the word for it again? Um. All right. So the thing I want to talk about today is the. Okay. So you know, you know how. Okay, wait, no, hang on. I, there's a better way to talk about that. Um, right, okay, I got it. So the thing I want to talk about today... Uh, it's, it's really Ujama important. Ojama Duo but... is the next trap card. It consists of Ojama Red and Ojama Blue. They're just doing <laughs> things. Um... Ojama Red pushing Blue out of the way so that he can bite your face off. He... See... <laughs> I don't know if I should be threatened or happy about him because he, he seems vaguely entertained this time. Is red blue stand? Huh. <laughs> You've seen red versus blue. Now get ready for red and blue. Worse than you've ever seen it. <laughs> when they come together, it's really bad. <clears throat> Wait. Red and blue makes purple, right? I think you're onto something here. And if you look at the head shape oh. of Ojama Blue... And the teeth on Ojama Red and the no, eyes. No, no, no. And the no. fact that o Ojama Red has like this swollen midsection. Oh. Uh -oh. Metosis. Ojamatosis. <laughs> it counts as an Ojama card. <laughs> it. <laughs> this card counts as Oja Muscle. Um. Okay, so Jamas oh. did 9-11. Next card. So Good to know. <laughs> they did what now? <laughs> Wait, what did I do? <laughs> I did one, two, three. That's all I can do. <laughs> There's not much here besides Red gently pushing Blue away so that he can look cool too. I'm glad oh, so about that. So he can look at you. <laughs> Let me take a look at you. Let me take a look at you. And finally, we have the Is last. This the last card? Yes, and we're not looking at all the billions yeah, of fuck, cards like they I said, appear fuck in. That. It's not. It's not worth it. Most of them are just look. Or drama getting owned. It doesn't want to load this one either. Hmm. Man, they really don't want us to be looking at our dramas. I mean, fair. I appreciate the endeavor, but we kind of <laughs> have to. Is the wiki like dragging its feet? Uh, no, it's when I download the image, it's in a format that the uh, player can't open. Oh, it's oops. dot or drama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, drama lime dot ninja. <laughs> uh, drama pajama. <laughs> What is wrong with Yellow's eyes? Is that just like the hollow, or like does he? he no does he have eyelashes. Yes, he has. Oh, you're looking fancy, girl. Where did you get those? The uh, the uh, the uh, the mm. Jike store. Okay, so <laughs> they they had seven oil part. This is wholesome. This is one of the comfiest card artworks. Except Black is looking at the green like, there aren't any more pistols. <laughs> These trips are almost empty. 
I got well, too whose fault is that? I got too many dips for my I got too many chips for my dip, but if I get more dip, I'm gonna have too much dip for my chips. Oh, it sounds like a you problem. <laughs> also, I've literally never noticed this before now. They have dust in bed sheets. Yeah, you didn't see that? No! I mentioned so it great. in the video. They turned dust ons into bed sheets. <laughs> they found the one thing weaker than them. <laughs> and they the took the chance. Were... Also, their their chips are Chateaubriand, Chateaubriand. Uh, yeah, Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand. Okay, uh, cool. That looks like uh, steak. Yeah, they're steak flavored chips. That's cool. Uh, they got macarons <laughs> on a on a plate. They got cookies and they have tea. They got uh, fire energy. It's not it's not <laughs> a drink. It's more like a drink. It's not a drink. It's more like a drink. Uh, oh, and uh, Yellow's got a little Game Boy next to him. <laughs> oh, he does! Oh, this is so pure. I mean, they're probably gonna die the next day, but... That's Ojamas. That's, That's how Ojama Ojamas works. for you. Uh, this is how I want to spend my last day. No, I do not want to spend my last day with Ojamas. I take that back. <laughs> I'd like to spend my last day as an Ojama so that I value every day that came before. <laughs> Oh, so it could have been worse than that, okay. <laughs> oh, it could have been so much worse. <laughs> Although this... This uh, this makes a curious uh, kind of... Uh, uh, no, uh, what's, the, what's the word? Uh, this makes an interesting implication. There like, you go. In these... In Ojama, uh, in Ojama Simulation and Ojama... In, and Ojama Match and Discard, they are in environments very much not Ojama-like. And this one is the most apparent, like, who let them inside a fancy little hotel, or whatever this place is? And this is someone's bedroom, and they broke in, <laughs> and they're having a pajama party. <laughs> Maybe it's like Devil Man, where people just become Ojamas. What a, what a horrible world. Like, these guys were having a normal sleepover, and then they became Ojamas, and were like, oh, I hate this, and then they just kept having their sleepover. <laughs> this is like... Okay, so Jamas are fairly small, so whoever this yeah. belongs to has to be also kind of small. Yeah. And, uh... What, which archetypes consist of small boys? Uh, Weatheries, Madolches... No, no, no. Busted. They are... Those are like small humans. These are Ojamas. Oh, uh, prank kids. They broke into prank kids' home. <laughs> they broke prank kids! Well, either that or the dust on bedsheet just belongs to dust ons, but it's kind of weird having a bedsheet of yourself. Also, somebody bit. pointed out white potan onesie on yellow. That's also really good. This is just oh, really good art. I love this one. This is a good it's... thing to end on. <laughs> except... <laughs> except this is not where we're ending on. Except that the curse is never over. Are we starting with you? Wait, we didn't finish yet. Okay. So, uh, overall thoughts on the dramas, please. Um, well, it's like I said at the beginning. They are peak Yu-Gi-Oh. They're weird, gross imp things that have a surprising amount of power, and they're horrible, and they just get drawn in whatever situation the artist feels like. <laughs> Neat. Um, okay. I agree. That's all I have to say about that. Bearer of the Yojama curse. I'm sorry. Bear. There's nothing we can do for you. Bear, seek, seek, or drama. <laughs> Stop skipping my dialogue! <laughs> That's something really cool to say. Okay. Mm. Uh, oh, wow, it's really refusing to load this one. Um, <laughs> give me a minute. Okay. Are we you good? Got, you guys like normal monsters? Do we have a yes or a no on normal monster? Because if you like normal monsters, you're not gonna like them after tonight. So... <laughs> starting <laughs> the off... The chat is panicking. You have all the reason to. This card <laughs> was first released in 1999. In Volume oh, 4, OCG, we still haven't seen it here. Yeah, most of you were born then, so... Strap because... In. it looks like this. 
Oh, why are you starting with this one? Oh, I hate it. It looks like a penis grew legs. I don't like it. I, uh, Jesus Christ. This Kazu not Kazuki Takahashi. Who's the guy who did Dragon Ball? That guy. Why can't I remember his Goku. name? Goku. Goku. Oh, this looks like... <laughs> this looks like if Goten got aborted. I hate this. Its name is Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And according to the description, attacks enemies by spitting thin sticky webs. <laughs> yeah. But um, usually there's not much I could say about... Oh god, caterpillar with a baby face, I cannot sleep tonight, but it gets worse. Would you believe me if I said it gets worse? Does it get worse? It gets worse because this This card was featured on a different on an anime only card artwork. Oh my god. Oh my god. And oh my god. because as if Arc 5 wasn't enough of a sin on man designed this by a sociopath, awesome. this is what one of the anime only cards from Arc 5 looks like oh <laughs> i hate i hate everything about this it looks like a baby it looks like a fucking dead baby i love oh. your gyo it's a fun for the whole family oh well not fun for him <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun <laughs> for my caterpillar son <laughs> <laughs> And so Kavitas Demon was aborted. Oh. This is this is like uh, really interesting because you have the, the horror of the Gen One card, and then you have like something that came out fifteen years later, retroactively making it even worse. They did. It. Why would they choose to use this <laughs> of all things? You have. Every other bug card in the fucking game, and you decide to bring this thing back. That was Caterpillar, ladies and gentlemen. And we're only just getting started. Send me yours. Send right. me the next okay. one. Okay, um, hopefully the wiki links work. Because. Wikileaks. That's not like... hopefully... I, I got these Yu Gi Oh cards off WikiLeaks. Here's our first one. Because <laughs> uh... nobody was meant to see this. Not game capture, you stupid software. <laughs> this is not a game, this is real life. <laughs> this is the realest thing I've ever, I've ever sent. Dog X. Dog X. <laughs> oh. This. See, when I when I went and show. Okay, so should we tell them how we did this? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So basically, what happened? I'm Dog X. <laughs> so basically, I'm Dog X. Okay. So what happened is, we were going to do this, and Ojamas are kind of a small archetype. So I said, how about this? You pick 10 Gen 1 normal monsters, I'll tick, pick 10 Gen 1 normal monsters, and we'll just do them. And that's that's what we've done here. And I chose this one. Uh, Rada got Caterpillar. I chose this one because it is very Gen 1 Yu-Gi-Oh! monster. It's these incredibly bright pastel colors. It looks like it's made from fucking cloth and foam. It's it's a Power Rangers monster that never made it to the cutting room floor. Yeah, never and, made it off. And he and he moves by barely flailing his arms around in Power Rangers. I actually didn't realize what his face looked like until I saw this up close because I thought his face was the three horns in the front as the eye Same. and the eyes in the mouth. But it's like a little lion man, and that's a lot less but interesting. If you look just below the little lion man, he has a oh. smug anime girl face hiding <laughs> on like his gooch. <laughs> That keeps him going. <laughs> and it's just there to, like, look at people when he's fighting. <laughs> he's very hard to look at because the green ends, like, just before his wrist. So it looks like his arm has split open and there's just, like, another dimension inside him. I don't think this one, honestly, is that particularly impressive. It, it's it, not, it's nothing it, special. We're going to ramp up as we go in. We're going to ramp up. And I'm gonna show you how, because oh, I'm boy. going all in right now. Oh. Merciful Christ. That was Togix. A lad. That was Togix. So we, we had a lot of uh, negativity and cynicism in these shows, but what I think we need is just a little touch of tenderness. 
obey the orb. <laughs> First you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, and then you throw it in the trash. <laughs> this looks like how a Caro Caro Bonito song <laughs> I, I uh, love that it's just that little tiny detail around the mouth that makes it look vaguely <laughs> fat. Yeah, it looks like Kirby. <laughs> That's really tenderness. <laughs> I love you. Touch me. I love you. Touch me. You better touch me touch. or I'm gonna eat all your spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock all your pots and pans over. <laughs> we could... There's a whole cinematic universe you can make out of, like, shitty old monsters and these voices you can make. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's a whole cinematic universe you can make out of just this card. <laughs> um, okay, bad Kirby, out of ten. Alright, are we ready for uh, my next one? Sure. So we're still doing slow escalation. I'm not gonna play my hand. I'm gonna do them as I found them. Okay, those um, <laughs> Again, I don't. I don't think this one's a big deal. But okay, if you chose it, then that's fine. It's 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 there. We're gonna get there. All right. The next few right. are are pretty fucking bad. I know you picked out some I've never heard about in my life. So. Oh yeah. Yamadron. Like Yamadron. This is a fucking mid-level Zelda boss from the first game. <laughs> you you hit him while his mouth is open with an arrow, and then he goes ah. Yeah. Like, According to the this... wiki, this monster has three fire-breeding heads, I couldn't tell that myself, and can form a, bla a sea of blazing flames. A sea! As just, just a sea of... Approach him. It's uh, Kliak. Yeah. This is... If you want to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! illustrator in 1998, the, the number one rule is just put spikes on it. Yeah. You've made a dragon thing, put some fucking spikes on the neck, put some spikes on the body, make the body look like a metal piece of shit, it's <laughs> some of, some of these designs from Gen One genuinely make me believe they went to the whole draw some random lines. Okay, now make a design out of it because they're so <laughs> simple but so varied. You got like this is just like you went straight from sketch to finish. Yeah, old Yu-Gi-Oh was an ugly fucking game. I am God, not gonna. Lord. But it, I'm not gonna deny that, but it had this sort of charm that was never replicated again in any subsequent eras of the game. Because oh, everything it. looked so... how <laughs> fast. <laughs> this was made in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, he's, it's, he's fine. This is... A good lad. Also, where, what are his legs doing, as long as we're here? You've got uh, one coming out of the bottom... Supporting one the, the, the rest of the body. <laughs> Not doing a good job. <clears throat> so... I'm not sure if this one has like a... Okay, I chose this one almost specifically because of the name. Oh boy. So I'm gonna show the artwork first and then I'm gonna say the name. Oh, the song is over? Oh, this song is actually over. Let me restart uh -oh, it. There restart. we go. Okay. Get, get, that, get that record spinning. That's a good song. <clears throat> okay, so. Next up, we have... Uh, well, I'm gonna ask you what you think this guy's name is. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know this card! I don't know the name of it, but I... Oh, Jesus. Don't don't look this in the is... chat in case somebody I'm says... I'm not gonna it. look. I'm not gonna look. This is a boss for every Sega Genesis game. <laughs> <laughs> he throws his head ball at you and then like does a thing with like his fire dragon arm. <laughs> He's Sicko Monk, that's his name. <laughs> Sicko Monk. Is that what you're going with? <laughs> that's my final answer. This monster's name is That Which Feeds on Life. Oh <laughs> Beg your pardon? That which feeds on life, and its description is a monster that feeds on the energy of other creatures. Could you tell me which one is that one? <laughs> the feeds on life one? <laughs> is it the egg? Or the monk? Or the dragon? Or the yeah, background? 
<laughs> this is the main bad guy in a Sentai anime that never saw the light of day. <laughs> it's it's a right. common team. Yeah. Um. So we're supposed to take that this feeds on life, and how he does it is a mystery. I hope he has a is a good time, is a good lunch, and keeps his diet healthy. Anyway. Uh, this is what these guys making Souls-like games immediately thought of after they played Bloodborne. <laughs> what a waste of a name, though. Really? I Can you imagine it with something called that which feeds on life would look like in like the GX era? Like, now it would be a robot, but in the yeah. GX era it would be like... <laughs> it would be a robot version of it. <laughs> But now, but in like GX, when it was like really dark, edgy, and peak occult for the series, it would be. I think that could come out as something pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. Send me the next thing. Oh yes. Um, all right. So I am skipping one because it is kind of boring when I look at it again. So we're gonna go straight into one of my favorites here. This guy. Oh, I know this one. Everybody knows this yeah, one. Yeah, everybody knows this one. This is a common one that I put in here because. He's not horrible. I mean, he is, but he's fun to talk about. He's a guy you know and love. Bolt it's not Dig Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is, everybody. <clears throat> this guy has so much covetous demon energy. I can't fucking stand him. <laughs> I love how smug he looks. Hey, what you, what's going on? <laughs> it looks like you just told him a joke. That's a good one. Here's mine. <laughs> Why did a chicken cross the road? Cause I was chasing wow. it to eat it. Ah! <laughs> because it says here, kidding. after after rendering an opponent immobile by spitting a sticky goo. What's with all these monsters and spitting things? This monster <laughs> closes like in for the attack. Up. Also, once again, this guy drew a snail. He sent it into the office, and the office was like, not good enough, so he put some spikes on the fucking <laughs> I'm telling you. Just put some spikes on it. He's a, he's a good lad. How does it attack? Well, it says here, it spits a sticky <laughs> goo, then he goes in. I don't see the Lenny face. He's, he's got, he, he looks like <laughs> he heard that you do lay thing, and now he thinks it's very <laughs> The background looks like he's on fire. <laughs> ow, ow, <laughs> ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> no, I got a really, really good one. I have People are going to love this. You're going to love this. Exactly. This is a super snail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, it's not loading. Okay, give me a minute. Fucking Why does it do that? It's so weird. Holy fuck a moly. Guacamole penis. <laughs> Guacamole snail penis. <laughs> uh, what are you shaking over there? There we go. Uh, my soda. Okay. Oh, my soda. So, what's the name of that one boy that negates swords of revealing light and does nothing else? Uh, weather... Weather man. report. Weather report. Yeah, weather report. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> weather control! He's so sad! Oh. <laughs> He's sad because his brother got all the effects. NPC snowman. <laughs> Effect monster bed. Orange sun bed. <laughs> This creature <laughs> controls weather and is often the cause of mountain storms. Well, fuck you, man. I killed a few guys on Mount Everest today. Sorry. <laughs> Have you heard about the Diatlo Pass? <laughs> oh, God. What do you think was behind <laughs> that? Hey, man, you hear about the deep state? <laughs> it's just conspiracy weather snowman. <laughs> this is the first summon you get in a bootleg JRPG. <laughs> This is the first Pokemon you get in, like, Pokemon Solid Perfect Gold Edition, followed by a bunch of Chinese text. Pokemon Snow Edition. Snowman. Pokemon Snowman. <laughs> He's wonderful. God, look at him. What a boy. What a hero. Next up. 
I, I do like uh, Weather Report number two, where he's dead ass, just looks like he's farting. Oh yeah, let me send you mine. This now we're we're gonna get into it now, as I as I promised. <clears throat> oh shit. Okay, here we are. Ba, 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 he's ba, cooking ba. it up. Oh god. Okay. Um. I told you, dude. <laughs> I mean, I've seen this one before, but it still kind of caught me off guard. It's not uncommon. Door over. This one. Door over what? There's a lot of slimes. <laughs> the rover, I hardly knew her. Oh! <laughs> um, this I is... have no comment on this one besides, wow, nice peaches on your head. He's good balancing. Feels good, man. He yeah, looks like the happy frog. <laughs> Why is Gigas <laughs> in the background? <laughs> God in heaven! Cannot comprehend the true form of the rover. <laughs> I just there's a lot of gross weird slimes in Yu-Gi-Oh. I chose this one because he's so excited to be him. This ugly monster emits a highly poisonous gas. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, me too, bitch. You ain't special. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A level three with 900 attack. I mean, of course. It is. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is like a worm that never was. This is what happens when Kraid busts a nut. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did you pick this one? What do you have to say about this one? I have to say is that he's so delighted to be a primordial miscreation from before the time of man, and that's what makes him so charming. He's every ugly, and and he also has like everything about him is like a a cum goop, and then he has solid eyes. I I lips. am cum. I am cum. And everyone's saying he looks like a dog, and yeah, he kind of has like a happy dog face. Yeah, I, I almost that. want to pet him if it wasn't for the fact that my hand would probably melt. <laughs> His existence is God's failure. He's What it is, is like he's like a big uh, internet atheist, and the fact that he exists is proof that God doesn't. <laughs> so... And so he just has to stand in front of the camera and be like, hey. Uh, next up is a card most have, I imagine, heard of. Oh boy. But it's still a neat little aesthetic going to it. If it, if only I would find an image that chooses to cooperate. If only. He has become come. <laughs> We're not doing Big Beak. Yeah, everybody has seen Dig Beak. Everybody has made the Every... joke already. Dig Beak's not that funny. He just has a funny name. <laughs> Now that you say it, his name is Digby. <laughs> Alright, can't believe I'm taking a screenshot of a Gen 1 Yu-Gi-Oh monster at 3.26 a.m. Where does my love come to? Anyway, uh, this is not only Ray, but also Temperature. Oh, no. oh, I used to love this card. Oh, you thought you'd get to the sleeping sun, did you? Well, I'm sorry to say, you won't. <laughs> this is the Kirby boss. God, this, this, it's like vaguely creepy, but also something about the, the art style is potion uh, seller. I'm going to the back. Seller. <laughs> so my wings are too strong for you, Trapper. The 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 ray, <laughs> the ray which I. Which is ray and which is temperature? Ray is the sun, because the sun has rays, and temperature is the wind, because... Mandor Carho can. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing I could have ended that sentence. <laughs> um, so, the wind, whatever the wind is, is looking at me really smug, like he's about, like, the sun is my wife and he's about to rail it down. <laughs> And Joe, shut the fuck up and get the fuck <laughs> I'm going to fuck the sun now. I'm going to. <laughs> and the sun, it seems, either it's either asleep or very distraught. I, th he, there is some doesn't... really bizarre sexual energy to this card. There really is. <laughs> it's. It, he looks like he just doesn't want to see what's about to happen. He's just like, all right, I know what's going to go down. I'm not going to look. It's, it's, it's all might. <laughs> 
Y'all hear something? It looks like All Might. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got a bit of that going on. There. Okay. Uh, oh, this is making Christ. me uncomfortable. Move on to the next one. What's yours? Right, wait, wait, next... wait. What? There is a Duelist of the Roses version of this card. Oh no. A 3D! Oh, if we must. <laughs> the Ray is Frieza's mother. I mean, I believe- Oh! Hello! <laughs> Son still looks like y'all hear something. <laughs> I uh, no. don't know what to make of this. It's like a <laughs> Devil May Cry one boss. It kind of is. Uh, <laughs> it's taboo. It's surrounded by Aratamas from from Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, the 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 wind is just a fucking ghost now. Ooh, it smells like poor in here. It still looks like it's gonna fuck somebody very dear to me and be really smug about it. It does. Uh, the cut ghost. But the sun, instead of looking distraught, is also very smug about it. It looks like he just <laughs> farted really quietly and he's waiting for the wind to smell it. Ho ho ho. Man, tonight has made me hate rain temperature. Fuck this. Let's go. Next one. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> I was cucked in my heart by by ten. The Will Smith genie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're, we're getting we're getting into it. Oh God. Yep. Let's just let's just go. Let's just let's we got to come in hot. Okay. Um. What's the wait before I put it up? I mean, after I put it up. It is hot. Okay. Okay, it won't it won't scan it, so I have to <coughs> do an extra maneuver. Son of a bastard. Son of a mother. Okay, so is this your barrel, or perhaps is it my barrel? Oh, this is my barrel. Okay, that's my barrel. That's my barrel. No, that's my barrel. You see my eyes real fast. Is it? You gotta see him go, man. <laughs> Oh man, never mind. Oh, oh, you're doing it again. Look at this fucking miscreation. Uh, if it this makes is... you feel better, his Japanese name is Devil Cannon. It doesn't at all. I mean, this does look like a thing that shows up in the background of like a frame of Devil Man. Uh, this cannon like creature fires eyeballs so fast they can't be seen. Okay, so there are two things here that's just wrong. First of all, why does it fire eyeballs? You can't just say that and not elaborate on it. And second, why can we see it? <laughs> and why is it next to him? What is going Checkmate, on exactly idiot. here? Oh, God. This, they this really the did just hit the randomizer on some fucking graphical software to come up with half of these. They must. This is like procedural generation. My barrel, your barrel, my barrel, everybody's barrel. <sighs> like it's. This is like H.R. Giger when he was eight. Fucking drew this. I hate this thing so fucking much. My barrel. Like it's a level there's... five with seventeen hundred. Of course it is. Oh, of course it is. This is. Like, there's a slow day at the office where you just draw a monster eye, which is just a bunch of eyeballs floating in nothing. And then there's slow day at the office where you just draw I don't even fucking know, and then send it to the localization team to get a flavor text. Man, a lot of these are just, they, they picked up stuff from Takahashi's, like, recycle bin, and, like, <laughs> we, can, we can work with this. Mr. Takahashi, please just upend your waste bin for us. Alright, what's next on my lineup? Okay. Um. This is a. <laughs> Just looking no, at no. it, okay. This music makes it a lot more ominous than it should be. Damn it, stop! Strap in. Not. Oh, okay, it's, it is loading it. Good, it's it loaded it. Uh. What is on you? You guys, um. If you guys have been crying, or weeping, or have been in general angered states during recent time, you may help yourself a little bit with this 
Laughing flower. Oh, man. <laughs> God, that is a lot of mouth and not a lot else, huh? There's a lot of laughing and not a lot of flower. <laughs> um, got a tongue. How it's does, why does got it flower? like. <laughs> there's. It, fuck, there, I don't know what to comment on. The, the fact that it vaguely looks like it might have eyes, but they're obscured by this gigantic mouth, the void yeah, inside said or... mouth, the the tongue that looks like an ass, the. God. The pink, just like vines coming down into nowhere. Laughing flower. Laughing fucking. When you say flower. laughing flower, you think, oh, this is gonna be something cute. But no, this says a flower whose laugh can confuse the minds of enemies. And apparently this also is... whose physical appearance makes you die. <laughs> Confuses the minds of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this this is a flower that was just told a very racist joke. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. No, listen. No, and he's like, he has so many tentacles so he can reach out and be like, wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, you see, because normally... <laughs> uh, uh, goodbye. I never want to look uh, at you again. What's the next one? Okay, next one. I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of some of these, but for right now, let's just keep at it. Here is this boy. Oh. Oh! Somebody was hoping for this one. They're gonna be happy really? if they're still here. Yeah, there's a few different- this is one of those that has like 10 different recolors. Yeah. So. If I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the recolors is Hero's Shadow Scout. <laughs> you, your brother, the guest, Laughing Flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody make that meme. Anyway, Meo Toko. <laughs> Meyotoko, otherwise known as Hero Shadow Scout, I think? No, Hero Shadow Scout is the effect version. Yeah, so there's like a few different ones. I, I just like that this is a thing. I'm sure this is based on like 50 different yokai, but I like torso, headless torso that has like an eye in the middle. And horns? He's got horns. Is that a cap or a sweet hairdo? That is his like... His body just, like, processed the neck as, like, a cool, almost buzz cut. He's got, like, a flat top. I have special eyes. My brand. <laughs> and I like to... just, like, yeah, jogging Yeah, I like him. to imagine that he's, like, flailing his arms like he is in a picture, like... <laughs> this fight! <laughs> so, that's me, he Otico. I... He has a head beard. He does. I like also the fact that Hero Shadow Scout has an effect that involves your opponent draws three cards. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I saw you were uh, having some trouble there, so you know, you take take some cards, you look them over, think about it. Uh, I'm gonna know what they call are. Call me if you're interested. I you know what your cards are. <laughs> May Otaku, everybody. May Otaku. Uh, what do I got next? Oh, more what plants. More pl Oh yeah, that's right. You While we were doing this, you said to me, look at the plant monsters. Those are the ones you want. Because old Yu-Gi-Oh plants are something else. God, old Yu-Gi-Oh is something else. Old people running the world. <laughs> oh, this one has a really funny description. This is going to play into the artwork really well. So, uh, I should probably get these ready in advance instead of doing it live. I, I got them all ready in advance because I knew I'd forget if I didn't. <laughs> this is Bioplant. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. He looks <laughs> like he was... Disappointed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... He's got uh, snakes for arms. I mean, for one arm. He's got five... Okay, I'll, play, I'll make this play into the description. I hate Mondays. <laughs> I'm back in the work site. No more nagging wife. <laughs> back in the garden. <laughs> so, he's got dinosaur, four dinosaur legs. 
a normal hand and two snake hands, five eyes and like petal hair and a skirt. So yeah. how one would describe this is a major accident. <laughs> But its description happens to mention a monster created from a major accident in an underground lab. <laughs> and the this little arm is like, Dude, are you okay? No, oh, oh. Right? I mean, we, we, you can talk about it if you want. We can. We don't have to do this. You can go home. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not feeling right, man, we can just go back. And the no, other one's okay. <laughs> and the other one's like, oh, the sky. The other one's like, oh, y'all hear something? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened when they tried to fuse man and AirPods. <laughs> what does that mean? It means this. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's it for that one, I guess. This is yeah, a level yeah. 3 with 600 attack, by the way. Not a level, f <sighs> level 7 with 2800, which it looks like it should be. <laughs> What's next? Okay, um, it's this guy. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Bioplant also has a Duelist of the Roses model, but it's just this in 3D and it's not particularly appealing. Uh, so, Knuckles Altar. <laughs> <laughs> the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain we never got. I am going with Knuckles Alter. I like Knuckles Alter. Neospatian Swole Mole. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grand Mole's, like... Dad. Real, yeah, his, like, uh, homophobic ex-Marine father who threw him <laughs> out of the house. <laughs> no son of mine's gonna send cards back to the hand. <laughs> He's gonna... You're gonna get out of this house. You're gonna fight and die like a bee. You're gonna fight and die like your daddy and your daddy's daddy. What a mess. What a no part of this is zombie. The I see mech. I see mole. Yeah. I don't see zombie. But it's zombie type. I guess. And uh, the <laughs> the description doesn't help because it just says this creature attacks by launching missile like arms. Well thanks for that. Yeah. I that is definitely a that is definitely a mech thing, but I'm not getting the zombie quite. It's like they put it there because like they they had a contract to fill out. Uh, no son of mine's gonna contact fuse. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuse with that neos boy? You do it outside this house. Oh my god! Do you want to know what its Japanese name is? Please. Zombie lump. Fuck, dude! It sure is. <laughs> Definitely is a lump. I'm still not seeing the zombie though. Uh, that that's it. I don't like this one. Why'd you pick it? Bye. Because look at it. Also, Go Onizuka suggested this one. Uh, of course. That was his suggestion to me. I don't know what one he sent to you. Uh, he sent me some boring plants. I didn't like it. Now, next one is a. Uh... Next one might look familiar, because it got an interesting retrain many, many years later. Either that or... Uh, I'm looking at it wrong. Okay. No, okay, never mind. It had... It had one of those like weird Gen 1 counterparts, but it also had a retrain many years later. So... This is... Oh boy, strap in. Gate dig. Oh, you didn't. Oh. I did. I chose the impossible. I chose oh. gate dig, baby. I like. I like the dude. None of them look like unhappy to be here. They all know what's about to go down. But that guy at the very front is like, "Oh, I'm gonna get you." This is Devil Man. This is, unironically, sick as hell. It is. This is great. I like this. I like, too, how he's up there like, Oh, you are gonna get so fucked up in a second. <laughs> this is oh, great. I it's would, coming, dude. I would fight this in, like, Neo. Devil May Cry, yeah. or Neo, yeah. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say Dark Souls, because it looks a bit too silly for it, but... Yeah, you could you could have a boss that's like uh, Legion, where, like, yeah. he spills out the dudes, or, uh, like, how the first phase of uh, Curse Rod at Greatwood works. 
I just gotta rip out my stitches. Oh fuck! God, he has to sue himself back inside every time he fights. Uh, he has a counterpart called Ghoul with an Appetite, which is not nearly as impressive because it's it's him but purple, viewed from the side, and you can't see any dudes inside of him, so it's just him but purple. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, a guy yeah. awkwardly opening up his stomach, and it's just weird and uncomfortable. There's also Embryonic Beast. What about it? Which I didn't choose. It's got similar lore, I think. Uh, it, it, it what I was referring energy. to is Ill Blood. Yeah, Ill Blood is horrible, and I yeah. love him, but he's horrible. Ill Blood Embryonic is Beast is just gross. Uh, this guy's description is... This weird monster, here you got it right, has a portal <laughs> in its belly that brings reinforcements from the farthest reaches of the netherworld. That's cool as hell, dude. He's just yeah, gotten me from FMA. Them. They're in there. Uh, it's amazing. Good one. <clears throat> Great one. Wonderful boy. Very Would good. marry him. Okay. Maybe not that much, though. So bear with me. This next one, I couldn't find, like, a... For some reason, this level 3 monster with 900 attack didn't make it into, like, a... What a tag force or whatever. So all I have is a decent scan of the full card. But I think you'll agree. Oh, it didn't make it into tag force? Shockingly. No. I know. This is also a TCG card, and I've never heard about it. I think it's OCG only, but I can't remember. There's a lot of OCG I, I'll, only. I'll get to the bottom of this. Um... Just give me a second. Oh, it did get into Tag Force. What are you talking about? Wait, did I just not see it? Yeah, there's a full scan. Okay. Oh, it might be. I did, though, like, never see or hear about this before, so congratulations on that. <laughs> Shovel Crusher, everybody. I imagine 90% of the chat hasn't heard about it either. Oh, God. Can I say Mega Man Boss? Can I just blow my load now that we're close to the end and say Mega Man Boss? Sure. Mega Man Boss. Okay, there. So, uh, <laughs> um, oh, he's in Duel Links? Okay, of course he, he is. Oh, mercy. Yeah, a lot of really obscure ones that I wanted to use like are in Duel Links, so Why? I skipped them because I wanted to shock people. Like, Turu Perun is in uh, Duel Links. That's <laughs> great. Look at this fucking thing. I love that his retractable chin is grinning really hard. Like, I said it. Yo. Chadtron. <laughs> Chadtron. A few millimeters of iron. <laughs> <laughs> and miles of death. <laughs> You're dead, Mega Man. <laughs> You'll never stop him from fucking your wife. So it's two shovels in the hands, or, well, whatever those are. And the yeah, shovel are... in the mouth, and probably on the dick, but we can't see one, because why wouldn't he have one? Uh, shovel Crusher, everybody. The, back shovel crusher, the background know. is giving him, like, a Sentai transformation. It's got hair, it's got, like... A lower body hey, that's this like is a fancy tail? lad. Did Gona guy design this? <laughs> He's gonna clamp you. <clears throat> Stare at this while I look for the next one. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Everybody, I have two left. Everybody is me too. Everybody has heard of this one. I hope you're saving the best for last. Oh, I I, I have the very best one of last. Okay, okay. So you guys know Blue Eyes. This is a member of the archetype that most over gets off overlooked. Most often gets overlooked because Blue oh, Eyed Silver Zombie is one letter away. Holy fuck, I forgot about this. <laughs> okay. I've I've held off on saying this, but can we unpack what's going on here? <laughs> Because he's got an eye patch, so we know where the eye came from, but the eye is as large as the skull that's containing it. His upper jaw is like a thing. Like, this is not a human face. This is like a dog man. He's got hands floating in front of him. I... None of the... I again, none, none, of, none of this is a zombie. I love Hideo Kojima, but he doesn't need to design Castlevania games. It doesn't work. <laughs> 
It's Rayman. It's dead Rayman. Yeah, that's the zombie part. Uh, oh, <laughs> this doesn't help. I looked up the translation page and his Japanese name is Buruaido Shiruba Zombie. Oh, which okay. Which <laughs> actually translates to... Let's hear it. Blue-eyed silver zombie. Well, I'll be fucked. Wow, wow, wow. It's bland. The Glad. beams from the eyes of this creature are set to turn enemies into zombies. Okay, cool. It's all cool. about that zombie fleek. He's on it. I feel like there's a backstory here. Like, you don't get an eye patch without having a backstory. He poked somebody's eye out, then he, like, tried eating it, but then remembered, all right, I don't have a stomach, so it just <laughs> keeps on it. This <laughs> seemed like a good idea a minute ago. <laughs> Bring me the next one. Okay, let me find it. <clears throat> Next one is going to be a bit of a lull, a calm before the storm, if you like, but I think it is important. Oh, XD, that we look at. I remember this one. This was in my starter deck in Kaiba the Revenge. <laughs> I just didn't remember this was its actual fucking name. Stuffed Animal. Stuffed Animal? Stuffed. I like this. Stuffed. Wait, Nightmares. It may look oh. like a harmless stuffed animal, it doesn't, but its zipper mouth deals a deadly bite. I noticed. <laughs> Fright for mistake. Uh, this is a- this is not a zombie or a fiend. You know, you know what type this is? What type is it? I didn't check. Warrior! This guy is out on the battlefields, providing for his family. And you're making fucking... fun of him. Excuse me? It's a warrior, baby. <laughs> like, I like how this is... Even even everything else aside, even if the head was in the right place, this would be the most unconvincing teddy bear in the fucking world. Because Maybe. if you look at its head over there on the side, it's got, like, a smiley face that someone drew onto a blank head. Well, it's either that or shading, so... <laughs> oh, God. No, it's got like a face someone Maybe just drew. Maybe it's a on. warrior because it was supposed to be like war air. Oh, maybe. It's entirely possible. <laughs> uh, it's this this feels like uh, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of like half the cards that came out first in Duel Masters. This is the thing like your generic evil character uses. He's like, oh, you think it's just a, a little toy and then it, it destroys your monster. It's actually in Monster Bear. He's also, it, it's got a tongue. That's important. I feel like that's important. That's how it eats. That's how it gets you. I mean, this implies that it swallows things somehow. Does it? Because its tongue is sort of blocking that. Anyway, before we move on to my final one, I need to share a, a spicy little meme that somebody cooked up while we were discussing Please. this. Well, I don't know why, I don't know why, why this resolution is so absurdly gigantic, but I'll try... Scooping it up for the stream. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And there we go. I think when our streams oh. produce wonders like this, I think it's all worth it. Oh. Just deep fry this and it's perfect. Anyway, okay. uh, send me your... Oh, Shadow Scout is reaching for your phone. <laughs> Give me you your got me games phone. on your phone. Um... <laughs> oh, that's really good. Someone just posted this in chat. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in. Here he comes. <laughs> okay, so... Then with that, send me your last specimen. All right, I have saved the best for last. This have. is a, a creature, the likes of which. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> it, uh, okay. Uh. Put it up. <laughs> Let the people see. <laughs> It's me, the semen demon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
face kick, everyone. <laughs> Toad mask. This guy Toad makes mess. all the Pepe's. <laughs> Where did you think all the Pepe's came from? Did, did I you raised think, the Did meter. you think people drew those? <laughs> I like that he's just like this smug frog face. <laughs> he's not terrible. <laughs> and then the staff! <laughs> yeah, the staff! Is a rare it's Pepe itself. You. It's glaring you like ah. <laughs> the Toad Master. <laughs> oh, we can't beat this guy. Secret rare Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is like a Thundercats villain. Oh. I, I was called every card a villain, but like, look at this. <laughs> Toad Master! A hermit frog that has been in existence for thousands of years. It attacks with it. tadpoles. <laughs> what What does that mean? You can, you're li to... There is a critical gap of information here. What does attacking with tadpoles mean? <laughs> he just tosses, like, a baseball-sized tadpole at you and it feels really gross. <laughs> I told you! It's great, amazing, I love that you saved it. <laughs> the tadpole in the center of the screen is staring directly at you. Oh my god! Hey! <laughs> oh, this is a dungeon. He's sing at women in the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he attacks with tadpoles. Uh, he has this white aura like he's powering up. <laughs> This is the power of ultra instinct. What a, uh. what an amazing <laughs> man! Uh, you know what? I cannot, uh, I cannot live up to this one. I'm sorry, because everybody has seen this one by now. Given how hard it was All memed, right. but well, still, I still think it's worth pointing out that this exists. <laughs> Uh, what? What? I know you uh, tell me. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Um, good horse. Where's the Where's the rest of it? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna add the rest of it later. Okay. And then little Timmy <laughs> found the horse, and he thought, <laughs> "What if it was a fish?" What if it was a fish? Son, what have you done? <laughs> I was supposed to draw a cool horse. What is this? That reminds me. My mom used to paint icons, like, uh, church icons. And one time when I was a dumb shit little kid, I took some red paint and I just kind of s smiggled it across the, the, the oh, painting. No. And I was like, hey mom, I put the red on the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't take it kindly. I can imagine not. <laughs> Mother, I killed God. <laughs> Mother. I placed red upon Jesus. <laughs> that makes you uh, makes you a heretic, son. <laughs> so that's kind of what happened with this card, I imagine. No, it's like, boss. Listen, uh, before you look at this, my son, he he likes he wants to be an illustrator like his dad. What are you talking about? This is perfect. Did your son draw this? No, no, I drew it. He just um, was watching and. <laughs> well, you're fired, and he's hired. <laughs> this is a level 5 with 1350 because of course it is. And. Fucking of course it is. For. Okay, hold up. Sorry. A bizarre monster with a torso of a horse and a fish's tail, you could say that again. It gallops through the sea as if it were the wind. What, is, what does that mean? It means he goes fast. I don't know how he do, paddles with fucking hooves, no, do, but... Do, do horses gallop to the wind? I... whatever. Um, Have you never seen a horse? They fly. That's what they do. Oh, okay. So... A thing to note. An extremely important thing to take heed of in this whole deal. Yeah. Is this card's name. It is... Tatsunoshigo? Tatsuno Otoshigo. Oh, Tatsuno Otoshigo. Okay. But... Its Japanese name is Shihosu. <laughs> God, I there's so many Gen One cards that do that. Like Raigeki does that. Raigeki does it. Uh, yeah. 
And I, a bunch of others do it, but they're a load too irrelevant do. for me to remember right now. He hosts everybody. So... Overall... La million troops. <laughs> oh, sorry. One million monsters. <laughs> wow. Fucking tax I uh, hope he's I doing his best. I hope he's doing well. The man deserves it after what happened. <laughs> sorry. Go on. In the end, what do you think about Yu-Gi-Oh? Ah... Uh... In one word, what do I think about Yu-Gi-Oh? What do you think? I think that we've come a long way from what we have. And somewhere along that line, someone realized, instead of getting our artists to draw whatever comes to mind and then retroactively justifying it, just tell them to draw robots and we'll, we'll do all right from here on out. And that's why we have current Yu-Gi-Oh. And in the end... Isn't it about family? In the end, it's about the Mabarals we met along the way. It's about the flowers we made laugh. <laughs> it's about... Think of every flower you've made laugh, of every eye you've had launched at you by Did, am I hearing you load? God. Am I hearing you load a gun? No! <laughs> yes, I'm... This is my final <laughs> pathetic aesthetic. Same. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I shall see you on the other side. I shall see you anon.